Okay, welcome back guys. So I'm gonna show you how to make a Dollar Tree wreath. So I got these flowers for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. And I got the wreath from, actually from Michael's for about $5.99. So I'm just gonna kinda take these off and just kinda place them here. And um, I'll show you um, step by step. So here's my bow guys um, I got the ribbon from um, Dollar Tree for $1.25 and I just made a quick little bow and there's so many bows you can choose from I just just chose to do with this one um, and I tied it with a zip tie and um, a lot of my flowers I just use e6000 glue and so yeah so here is my M my last name is Mitchell I actually got this from Walmart and uh, so I'm just going to use quick little paint that I actually got from Walmart for I think less than 50 cents guys. Um, so I'm just going to brush this on here pretty quickly and um, I'm going to let it dry for hmm, I'll say maybe 20-30 minutes and, um, and then after it dries you'll see me place it on here with some E6000 and there you go. There's my E6000 and I'm just going to place it here and after I place it here then I'm going to let it sit and dry for probably about an hour. And then after that, it should be um, glued together. And here you have it, guys. This is my finished product. Hope you like it. Uh, Dollar Tree Reef. Uh, I would say this was less than about $15 to make. And um, I think it's pretty cute. I hope you like it. Okay, guys, this is project number two. You see me right here with my jar that I have. It's gonna be for my front porch set. And so right here, I'm just gonna dry, um, just kind of blot my paint on my jar and just kind of blot it all the way through. And then you'll see me just kind of just use my sponge paintbrush to just kind of go around the top part. Um, but, but yeah, I thought this would be the best way to get the paint on and um, get it evenly on but here's my sponge also right here is my floral foam i'm using my e6000 glue and i'm just going to put a few pieces in the jar so it'll make my uh, flower pieces kind of sturdy once i start putting them and placing them in um, so this is pretty much what you see me doing right here and it was kind of giving me a hard time but it started working out so right here, you just see me placing my flower arrangement, um, my little flowers in the foam, just kind of making it sturdy. Um, and yeah, it worked pretty good for me. So right here is my ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I'm just gonna make a quick little bow and it's very quick, very simple. See right here, guys, very cute. Okay guys, this is project number three and I'm gonna do another door wreath. So this is some project board that I got from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And I have a charger plate that I also got from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And I'm just gonna kinda trace these little circles here. I'm gonna make two round circles for my wreath. Then here you see me with my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna cut around and just keep cutting until I get these cut on out. OK, 
Okay, so right here I'm using my E6000 glue. And I will say, after I used my E6000, not all of it wanted to stay stuck, so I actually used my glue gun and used that to get it to stick. So now you see my paint that I actually got from Walmart for 50 cent. And I'm just gonna paint my project board just to kind of give it a little color for the background. Okay, so right here you see me placing my flowers that I got from Dollar Tree for $1.25 each. And I'm just kind of using my glue gun, like I said before, and I'm just placing them here just to kind of uh, give you a little uh, decoration for the door reef. I will say though, once I placed them here, the, the stint, they, um, the, it was a little too long, so I decided to cut it just a little bit, and so that's what I did. I kind of took it off and replaced it. And here you see me with a bow. I just made a simple little bow out of the burlap that I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar and twenty-five. It's just a quick little bow, and so I'm just gonna make a little fish tail right here, and just make it a little cuter. And I'm going to use um, just the home sign and I'm just going to paint it black um, to kind of go with the um, bow that I have. They have like the little black in the bow. So I'm going to paint it with the black that I actually got from black paint that I got from Walmart for 50 cent. And so I'm just going to paint it till, it till I'm done. And then after that, I'll pretty much let it sit for about maybe 20 minutes to dry. And then I'll just place it on here. And I'll be pretty much done with this reef, guys. Okay, guys, last but not least, um, you have your brown rope. And I have my little natural beads that I'm going to do my finishing touches for my little door hanging um, part for my hook for my door. And so I'm just gonna place these little beads on. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna pretty much glue it to my reef. guys here you have it, my finished product uh, project number three door a little cute little reef I hope you like it if you like all three please like share and subscribe guys these are my fall porch decor for 2022 so hopefully you like them so again please like share and subscribe